So I'm Christian and I work in Tatuada Helsinki. I think this, this shop is one of the best in Europe because Jarno and Tupu, they have a vast knowledge about the doing. So for me, it's nice to be surrounded by this kind of people. So I'm very happy to work here. Uh, I was always fascinated about to do's in general, not only like in Japanese style. And I say, I really want to do it in a like traditional and proper way. So I would like to have a master and learn like from the, say from the ground. That's why I came here and asked to Jarno if I can be his apprentice. Jarno, it's, it's my mentor, he's my master. And uh, when I became his apprentice, I was mostly watching what he was doing, how he was setting up the machines or like, even drawing on the skin. And uh, I think this is the only way you can learn. I take inspiration from like 1900 centuries tattoos from Japan, like uh, very solid, very black, instinctive tattoos. You know, not so precise. There's many stories about Japanese style tattoos. I think everyone agreed that was born as a punitive practice. It was very common to see like kanji tattoos or like uh, black bars. And if you was committing crime several times, you was getting more bar on your arm. Then with time, it become more, um, more like complicated design. The main point was to do like a ukiyo -e prints on a person back. So this is how it becomes the tattoo that we see today. So the tattoos in Japan was linked with like criminals. They was getting this kind of tattoos to show that they are strong. But of course, nowadays, everyone can get this kind of to-do's. It's just a small part of this world, you know. So the, the Japanese to-do was already existing before like uh, the Yakuza. So yeah, if we talk about like firefighters, they, they used to have to-do's like uh, koi or like dragons because they are like uh, water subjects. And they used to have these subjects to protect themselves from fire. Yeah, I think Japanese style tattoos for me it's like uh, it's like the maximum expression of tattooing. Maybe because it's so complicated, you know, it's not easy to understand. So it's kind of mysterious. I mean, tattooing was born as a craft, not as an, as an art. And uh, many tattooers identified themselves like as a craftsman. The main point of tattooing, in my opinion, it's to it's preserving the craft and keep this tradition going on. So at some point you need to be able to share this knowledge with the one who comes after you. And this is the main point of to doing.